Hi, Paul Waller, and a very quick tutorial that's hopefully helpful to a whole bunch of people out there, audio, music, Mac professionals. We often come across what is a really baffling problem as Mac users. Generally speaking, when we download sample libraries from various developer vendors, in the old days we used to buy these as CD, DVD, optical media, but it's much more common these days, obviously, to download your purchases from the website. They often provide us with PC files, and these are often the dreaded bin Q files. A lot of you would have seen these. Most people would have been confounded as to what to do with them. There are some really complex ways of working with bin Q files on Macs that involve using the terminal and uh, you know, pretty tricky stuff. But there is a fantastic application available for the Mac, which is Roxio's Toast. Uh, I'm using version 9 here. This is the version that I paid for. Haven't upgraded it. But what I'm going to do with it here is generic across all versions of Toast. So if you're using a newer version 10 or 11, don't worry about it. It will be the same as what you see me do. So what I'm going to do is show you how to make a bin Q file usable, readable by a Mac. What we're going to do is we're going to turn it into a CD, or should we say an optical media image. So the way to do this is we can look at here and what we need to do is to convert this thing into a readable format. What we're going to first do is click on convert image file. Make sure that we choose image file here. So here's your drop down menus. And we're going to go to convert image file. We're going to select the image file desktop. I'm going to select it here. And there you go. Here is your Q file and your bin file. Don't worry about this file here. Sometimes you'll see a CPGZ file also. Don't worry about it. Most of the time you'll just see a Q and a bin. And if you look here, the Q file has a, a Roxio Toast image on it. That's because it's aware that this computer has Toast installed. So what we're going to do is just select that, choose it. You can see that it's now selected. As it's now selected, I can go to the File menu, and I can choose to save it as a disk image. Save it as a disk image. I can rename it here. I'm not going to bother. You may wish to. Let's do that. It'll quickly ask me where I want to put it. I'm going to put it onto the desktop, and you'll see that it is then writing the toast disk image. So what I can now do is, there it is, here's my new toast image. And I can actually go to convert image file. I can even drag it onto toast here. And as I drag it onto toast, we now see that we're able to mount it. Uh, when I click mount, you'll see quite quickly that we get ourselves an optical image. It looks like a CD or DVD, right? So I can now simply double click on that. There's all of the information that I couldn't read from the Q bin file. Would obviously be able to read if I had inserted a CD or DVD and I can quite simply access all of that information. Don't forget, this, this will be ejected when you shut down the Mac. So make sure that you copy that stuff from the CD image. I'm just gonna grab it onto the desktop for now, a bit untidy, but let's do that. Copy it off. I now have my data. I'll, obviously, I would stick that into a folder normally, all that stuff, and then file it away with the rest of in this case, this is a sample library. And that's job done. It's actually pretty easy once you realize how to do it. Quickly, what's great about Toast, those of you that don't know about Toast, I would consider it an essential piece of software for audio music professionals. It has an amazing audio codec, way better quality than, for instance, iTunes. So if you need to listen to your music at the highest possible quality digitally, then Toast is the software that you should use. Here's the audio menu, audio CD, music DV, MP3 disc, etc. You can burn discs from this if you wish to. You can, as I said, make disc images, which is really useful for backing up those fragile CDs and DVDs that you have in your collection. You can, as I say, playback music 
at a higher quality than you would be able to with other software. The other thing about Toast is that it will burn CDs at what's called Red Book Standard. This is a CD mastering standard term. iTunes will burn CDs at what's called Orange Book Standard, which is not truly master quality audio. So if, for instance, you wish to send a CD of, shall we say, your finished album to a pressing plant for duplication, you will need really to send it as a red book CD so that they can give you the highest possible quality. Red book is also known as Glassmaster production master. So if you're serious about audio, if you're an audio professional, you will want to have a copy of Toast. As I said, it will also make disc images of all of those fragile CD DVDs in your library. So that's a great way to back them up and make sure that you don't lose them. And as you've seen, it's great for converting files from one format to another. I hope I've been of some use. Cheers.